I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. Mm. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. If I wake up and I'm unhappy, I will do the exact same things as if I am happy. I will go to the gym the same. I will work the same. How I feel has no impact on how I live my life. We're grown-ups and we have responsibilities and we have problems and we have pressure. And you don't necessarily have to be happy to perform. You know, and, and happiness will come at the end of the performance anyway. But if your number one goal as a man, if your number one uh, mission in life is just to be happy, that's going to be an extremely vapious existence. And you're not going to be a man of substance. Your ability to deal with stress, the amount of stress you can deal with as an individual, is directly correlated to your success level. If you can deal with stress all day, you're going to be successful. If you collapse under stress, you're not going to be successful. There's no way to the top without stress involved. But there is a massive correlation between success in life and stress tolerance. The more stress you can tolerate, the better your life's going to be. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control of is your state of mind. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind and life's going to blow you around. I can't imagine truly wanting to quit something and not being able to quit. I can't imagine it. When I talk to people who say, I want to quit smoking, I say, when? They go, oh, well, soon. But that means you don't want to quit. You want to keep smoking for a while and quit later. I can't imagine a, a mind frame or a mindset where I want to do something and can't do it. It's almost dis difficult for me to answer that question because if you have that kind of mind, if your mind is so fundamentally broken that you cannot do with your own mind what you want to do, then you're just, right? Life is hierarchical. There's always going to be kings and there's always going to be peasants. If you have a mind that you can't control, then you're never going to be a king. You're going to be a peasant. That's your life. You have a peasant's life ahead of you, and that's your that's your destiny. Enjoy, right? There's always been peasants. That's life. But I I believe that the most important thing you can do as a man is to gain control of your mind. Once you have control of your mind, life is so ridiculously easy. People say to me, Tate, you're in good shape. All you do is drink vodka and travel the world. You're never even home. You never even have a gym. How do you do it? It's ridiculously easy if you control your mind. If I decide to do a thousand push-ups. I'll do them. Maybe I have to do them one at a time. Maybe I'll get tired. Maybe I need a break. I'm going to do a thousand because I said I'm going to do a thousand. Everyone knows what they're supposed to do. You either control your mind or you don't. And and this all of these things stem from the same problem. It's something you can do. It's something that is learned. It's something that is taught. Depression is the ultimate motivation. If you're unhappy with your life and you're depressed, I don't expect you to be popping pills and sitting and laying in bed. I expect you to give me a huge list of everything you're achieving per day. Depression is a fantastic motivation, you know, but people are told the opposite. No, a lot of people's problems are all in their mind. And I'm not saying that mental conditions aren't real because absolutely some are, but I try and explain to people, look, the only thing on the planet you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control anything. The only thing you can affect in genuine real time is how you feel in your head. How you view the world absolutely and utterly shapes how you react to the world, how you act in the world, how people view you. It's all down to how you view things. You have to believe you're the fucking man and you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'm not saying you can achieve anything easily. I'm not saying it's not gonna take a whole bunch of work. I'm not saying it's gonna happen quickly. But you have to believe you can achieve anything. When I tell people that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, everyone agrees. They go, yeah, that's probably true. And then they continue to hang around with people who they don't wanna be. Why? There has to be a point where you sit and go, okay, you're my friends, et cetera, et cetera. I love you guys. Yeah, we can talk, whatever. But I'm on a different life path. You have to leave some people behind. If you were to come hang around with me and my crew, you would be self-conscious. And that self-consciousness would motivate you or they would certainly instill the discipline required for you to change. You don't feel self-conscious amongst your peers. That's why you don't change. When I was broke, I couldn't sleep. And I say that people laugh. I'm not joking. When I, I wanted money, like fucking I needed air. People say to me, I want to be rich. And I say, okay, well, I want to be able to ice skate, but I don't want to be able to ice skate enough to go learn how to ice skate because I can't be bothered. I, I mean, surely if I could click my fingers and be a figure skater, I'd, I'd click my fingers. Who wouldn't? But I don't want to actually go train because it's, it's, I, don't, I don't want it enough. And this is the exact point with money. Everyone wants money put on their lap. If you truly wanted money, you wouldn't be able to sleep until you fucking had it. And this is the point. Because when I had nothing, I couldn't be distracted. 
You couldn't distract me from what I wanted. Life when you're young is a completely different experience to life when you're old. When you're older, your life quality seriously decreases, massively. So you have about 10 to 15, maybe 20 years to find a way to get rich and enjoy being rich. And you gotta put it all together and you gotta do it quick. You have to start saying, I wanna take money. Because that's how you have to think. You don't make it, you take it. So you have to start talking that way, you gotta take money. Is that money isn't real. Money is like water. Money never stays still. If you can find and identify a place where money is moving, if you can find a place where money is moving and stand in the way, then the money is vulnerable. The problem is with the people out here, everyone has a dream, but not many people have a plan. A good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. You gotta do something. You gotta do something fast. Yeah. You're just sitting around talking about it and hoping for things to get better. I don't think living in a dream is gonna help you in any way. I think you need to be sitting here panicking at the fact that you don't have enough money. You need to be concerned and worried and sad. You need to do something about it today.